LP Smart Site is really, really good at marketing. James Hardy, not as good. I was in Orlando for IBS, really big builders expert just a couple months ago. And I've seen James Hardy losing the marketing battle to LP Smart Site one more time. If I would be in charge of James Hardy, I would fire my entire marketing team. Guys, I, I apologize, but sorry, not sorry. For last eight years, I have seen LP Smart Site beating again and again and again James Hardy team in the marketing game. Every show they come up with the bullshit demonstrations showing the superior superior performance of their bullshit product. Don't be fooled by it. We don't make decisions what we install on our homes, especially in harsh environments based on marketing promise or uh, gimmicky test. We installed and should be making our decisions based on the real life performance. Forget about your brain, forget about your eyes, what you see in the show, what salesperson is telling you, look at the real life performance this insurance adjuster lives in rapid city south dakota black hills area gets so much hail that people are replacing full exterior of their houses you know five six times over 20 years span you don't want to replace your roof or your siding five times in your lifetime if you keep doing it maybe consider better product. This is one of the best case studies I've done on James Hardy versus LP Smart Side. I've took both products to the shooting range because I had to prove the point back in the day when I was a contractor that James Hardy performs better. Again, James Hardy takes lesser amount of boards to stop the bullet. Uh, if you throw hail at it, real life hail, LP actually breaks. This video is not sponsored by James Hardy. We never get $1 from them. James Hardy, if you want to work with the best marketing team in the construction industry, reach out. We can offer you a few uh, cool case studies, a few cool products, but enjoy this interview and watch for yourself why this insurance adjuster installed James Hardy and Eurashield on his house. So guys, we have pretty unique case study here. We're with the insurance adjuster in South Dakota, a place, a rapid city, a place that hails a lot. And we have a few products I really want to talk about. But first question is, how many roofs have you totaled in your lifetime? Uh, I'm not sure on the exact amount, but I worked all over South Dakota for storm claims. Um, every type of product you can imagine totaled out. Um, every type of roof, metal, um, tile, concrete in, tiles. So you've seen it all. In your experience, uh, how misleading is class four shingles and how much better are they performing? And does it really help? They do help um, on smaller hail. Smaller but hail. when you get the bigger hail that we just had, uh, it doesn't really help much. Up to we, one inch or even less than that? Inch and a half. Inch and a half. We total out legacy. This does a class, any class four. Sure. We've had to total out. Metal doesn't do well here unless you like dents, but <laughs> I'm not going to drive around a car that's been hailed out. A lot of, my a lot of uh, in, uh, exclusions as well, right? For cosmetics? There is now. Um, there wasn't, but different companies are going to. They'll pay 25% of the roof up front. If you replace it, then they'll pay for the full cost. But some are not covering cosmetic damage on soft metals. So it doesn't do you a lot of good and it will get dented. So as an insurance adjuster, what products have you seen over the years perform better? First, let's start with the siding. LP or James Hardy? Or Hardy. metal? Hardy? Hardy. Metal does okay, but it will be damaged. Um, vinyl will be shredded here. So, so. Hardy overperform LP? I've seen it do better. Okay. Um, LP will chip a little bit more. Um, the older products will, um, on the bottom edge, will start to deteriorate, delaminate, yep. and puff up. Yep. So, let's move up to um, gutters. Aluminum or metal? Or it doesn't matter. They all will. Doesn't matter. <laughs> no, they all get damaged here. What so. about vinyl gutters? I haven't really seen much <laughs> vinyl here. Okay. It's okay. rare. All the way to the top now. Which roofing system you've seen work the best? The best out here is probably concrete tiles, concrete but they tile. will chip. 
the corners will break. You'll have some break in the middle of the field. So you'll have to replace shingles here or there. Sure. And then um, just with our cold and hot, they'll expand and contract and rub on the underlayments and then start to leak. We've had that recently quite a bit. Uh, what else works? What do you have? This is your house, right? Yes. And this is why we're here. What do you have on top of your roof and why? This is the gray slate um, Euro Shield. Uh, it holds up to pretty much anything. We haven't seen it damaged yet. All of the houses around us have been damaged and they've been replaced. Um, you'll see if you drive around, there's a couple of roofs being replaced right now. Um, this one right over here just got replaced. So they just, we get a lot of hail every two to five years. It'll be hailed out out here. But have you seen your shield roofs in this area when you inspect them after the hail? Only a couple. On a couple? It, as, um, when I was a full-time adjuster, it was less common. Okay. Um, but people are starting to learn once they're paying their deductibles and their roofs are getting totaled every couple of years. It's just not worth it. They'd rather put Euro Shield on and not have to deal with replacing the roof again. Love it. so it's a lot of work. It is. So class four, I feel like it's a little bit misleading because you know it doesn't get better than that. I mean, if you would give a number, what year shield would be on that classification? So let's say Malarkey Legacy is class four. What should a year shield be? It's <laughs> above a class four. Is it will class outperform? Eight. Yeah, it's much better. Because a class four will get damaged by one and a half to two inch hail. Do insurance company give pretty good discounts here for class four and up for something like this? Do you get as a homeowner? discount from insurance company? They do. They give a pretty good discount. Just because of the area we're in, we get a lot of hail all over the state. So if you put on a better roof, they're giving you a discount for that. So they, it's win-win. You don't have to replace your roof and they don't have to pay for your roof. So I do see, so you have James Hardy siding. Yes. And you have your shield roof. Yes. In your experience as a public adjuster, as an adjuster over the years, this is the best combo you can get? That's what I think is the best combo, yeah. Is uh, I don't want to replace it again, and we're going to be in this house for a long time, so it'll hold up better, it'll still look good in 10 years. Love it. Well, you heard it from experienced adjuster. Comment below, I want to hear from you. What's the perfect combo in your state, in your area, wherever you are, California, Florida, Every market is different, but here in South Dakota, this was works. My name is Demisha and I approve this message. <laughs> and if you're the homeowner and looking to hire a contractor to replace your siding and your roof, you're talking about big dollars spent. Your roof will average $20,000 in the country today. Your siding probably even more. It's a big purchases. So we build the platform called directory.com. We recommend our contractors and the products they install. And if something goes wrong, if they take your money and run away, or if the job will have to start over, you don't have to do it yourself. We guarantee all our recommendations with a $20,000 guarantee. It's very simple to use. It's a search-based platform. You put in your zip code, the product, the siding, roofing, the trade that you're looking to hire a contractor in, and we're gonna match you with the best of the best in your area, and we will back all our recommendations in the case of the nightmare. If you're looking for the best products, and the best contractors stop listening to commercials and salespeople. It's all propaganda. Listen to real life results and real life testimonials. I'll see you guys in the next video.